We're just six days away from America's total solar eclipse, which will occur just about this time of the day on Monday. And out of the 115 mile wide path across North America, one city is offering eclipse watchers the unique bonus of a second natural wonder at the same time. That's right. Uh, Niagara Falls is in the direct path of totality. One million visitors are expected to flow into the area on April the 8th. To find out how they're preparing, the chief operating officer at Destination Niagara USA, Andrea Zopp, joins us now. Andrea, how incredible is this? It's BOGO Natural Wonders, two for the price of one. How excited are you for Monday? Oh, we're excited, we're nervous, we're all kinds of emotions right now with six days away. So number one, most importantly, being the weather. We just want the weather to be clear and sunny. Right. A Andrea. You're born and raised in Niagara, USA. Hotels there are at 100% occupancy. You're expecting, as we said, around a million visitors. How big of a deal is this for your community? Oh, it's a huge deal. I mean, the economic impact of this is, you know, we're still trying to work on how we're going to measure that because it's going to be massive. Uh, this is going to be wonderful, not just for obviously the hotels and motels, but for restaurants, for our attractions, which thankfully we've had a really mild winter. So a lot of our water attractions are able to open early. So this is just uh, like I said, immeasurable right now, but we know it's going to be massive. Yeah, I, I know, as I mentioned, you're from there, but pound for pound, you'd have to make the argument that this is one of the most unique spectacles that you could possibly have along that path of totality. Well, that's so true. I mean, Niagara Falls is on so many people's bucket list already, just in and of itself as, a, as an iconic destination. So now add this bucket list phenomenon, um, and now you're getting two for one. I can't imagine why anybody would want to be anywhere else. So for the lucky ones that are planning to come, what other events are happening, and do people need to pre-register for those? I mean, w with the number of people that are going to flow into the area? Yeah, so there's a lot of events taking place across Niagara Falls uh, right here in the city, but also across the county. Uh, and ultimately, those will all be for people who are already here looking for things to do, especially those coming in early uh, for the weekend who plan to spend the weekend here as well. Um, in addition, we also have NASA who is going to be here. They're going to be at seven locations offering um, free programming from subject matter experts for uh, the whole weekend and on Monday. And they're also bringing an astronaut who will be at four different locations. All of that scheduling is free uh, and open to the public. Some of them do have required registration because they're limited to the number that they can allow. But everybody can find that on our website, NiagaraFallsUSA.com. We have a specific eclipse landing page for everything that you need to know about this eclipse, from events to parking information to frequently asked questions, et cetera. So for folks that are planning to, to make the trip up to Niagara Falls, do you have any advice for, for people heading that way? Any extra tips? Uh, my biggest tip is to pack your patience. Uh, we know there's going to be a lot of people here. We know the traffic is going to be very busy. Uh, so we just hope that everybody comes with the anticipation of being around a lot of other people and to just be very patient, to be prepared um, to sit in traffic for a little bit and, um, you know, just enjoy the experience once they're here. Right. This is a very special event, but it's, it's going to be extra unique uh, right there at Niagara Falls. Chief Operating Officer at Destination Niagara USA, Andrea Zopp. Thanks for chatting with us on Fox Weather.